Hello everyone, welcome back to Bertie App Studio and today we are going to discuss how we can register subscriptions for our app in Google Play Console. So let's do it. To create subscription plans, first of all you have to log into your Google Play Console. Then from the list of apps, you have to select your app for which you want to register the subscription plans. Scroll down this side menu until you see the title named Monetize. In the products list, you have to click on subscriptions and then you have to click on create subscription. Here you can see it is asking us from for product ID and name. Product ID is the ID through which subscription API is actually get data from Google Play Console which is related to our subscriptions. So it can shown to end user and name is actually simply the name of your plan. Okay, for the product ID, I can simply say my ID demo and name my sub demo. Okay, click on create. After entering the ID and name, now we have to set up some other things here you can see which task you have to perform to make the successful subscription plan add subscription benefits add base plan and other are logs you can see and here is our product id which we need to put into our subscription api while integrating the subscription api in our app and here first of all you have to click on this add base plan to set pricing and other things here you can see it is asking for base plan id for example, I'm going to uh, make a subscription of one week. So let's say my plan underscore zero seven, sorry, zero seven. And I want my subscription for auto renewal. For example, if the subscription is expired, then it will charge the user automatically for the next month or next week billing in actually for uh, as our subscription is of one week. Billing period is monthly, grace period is 70, sorry, we want billing period is weekly. As you can see here is all of other options. Uh, if you want subscription, for example, for six months or for one year, you can select here. I want subscription for one week, that's why I'm selecting weekly here. Now you have to select the grace period. There are a lot of options. You can see you can select none, but I recommend you to select the grace period of three times. What does actually it mean? For, for some reasons, the pay payment of the your client is expired or is failed then the google is automatically provide them with grace period for example if i am selecting here three days then google will allow them three days to update their payment method or fix their payment issues even in this period they are able to use all the features that is offered by subscriptions but after the grace period their account will not offer them the subscription features and they have to repurchase your subscriptions you can you can select none or you can even give them more days and that totally depends upon you. A customer base plan and offer charges charge at next billing if there is any pending charges from customer side side and you can allow the resubscribe. Next you can put any tags here if you want and here is the important part. Now we have to select the price and availability for our subscription plan. First of all go to this manage and region availability section and here you can see it is selecting all the countries and our subscription plan will be available in all these countries. If you want to skip any country or omit any country, you can deselect from this list. I'm going to select them all, click on apply and then click on this set price button. Now I'm going to set the price for all the countries. Just click on this mark button box and click on set price. Here it is asking for my price, subscription price actually. For the currency, I'm going to select the USD and I'm going to make it uh, just say 2.99. Click on update. And here you can see it is automatically putting the price for all the countries and you can also see the, their local currency also. Uh, here you can see all the countries. Click on save. Your changes, okay, we got an error. Let's see here it is. We are getting error due to our name. Just remove these underscores. Okay, my plan 07. Nice. Click on save again and now it is submitting. Uh, okay, here is all the information. If you want to change them, you can change them. Here currently it is in draft mode, you can see. And here is your plan name. Now you have to click on activate to make your subscription activated. Okay, now if you go back to your subscriptions menu, here you can see your new subscription which is my sub demo click on this arrow 
and here you can see what is the product id of your subscription which you are going to use while implementing google play billing in your app and other details are here your plan id your plan is weekly and auto renewing in how many countries it is available status is activated and at what date you created your plan other than that if you want any new subscription plan or if you want any other subscription plan for your app for example for one month or three months or for one year you have to repeat the same procedure just change the change the time from weekly to uh, payment time from weekly to monthly or three months whatever you want and you are going to repeat all these steps to create or register a new subscription plan so that's it how you can register subscriptions for your android app in google play console if you have any questions you can ask them directly in comment sections like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to our official youtube channel i will see you in next video thank you so much